What is going on guys? Correct, 1287 here, bringing some Battlefield 4 gameplay. Uh, just going to have some random gameplay going on there in the background. Uh, main thing that I wanted to uh, spend this video talking about was uh, a fairly recent... Uh, this was uploaded uh, December 12th, and this was uh, up on SimThick uh, on their forums. And uh, basically they just looked at some of the data for the weapons uh, being used in Battlefield 4. And they looked at how many deaths are a result of these weapons. Now, they didn't look at vehicles. Uh, that data might be coming soon. And when, uh, again, you know, with all my videos, the link will be in the uh, video description below. But uh, if you do want to click on that, it is, it's a lot of information. It's going to take you, um, I mean, you could probably spend an hour or two hours uh, looking at this if you wanted to take in all the uh, details. Uh, they've already packed a uh, just a ton in there. And uh, right now there's only a few things that are visible. You will have to scroll down and you'll see a uh, triangle with a uh, yellow caution type of thing. It says spoiler. And if you click on that, it will show you some of the other uh, things, some of the other data. So what is the data that is being shown on there? Um, again, you're seeing how many deaths are the result of these weapons. They do break them down by the category of weapons, not just classes. So you'll see the uh, pistols in there, some of the carbines. Uh, you'll even see things like grenades, rocket launchers, medic, uh, you know, gadgets, uh, the things like the M26 and all of its variants, and the, the noob tube and all of its variants, all the support and recon type of things, C4, UCAVs, all that stuff, knives. Uh, just tons and tons of things. They even have NG, ND, NG gadgets uh, in there. So you can take in all of that uh, information. And then they break it down into count. Now this is uh, kind of to give you a, a guesstimate of how to explain this. This is the number of players that have gotten, I think, at least 100 kills with said weapon. So if you see, if the count would be, say, a thousand, that means there's at least one thousand players, or there's a thousand players that have gotten at least one hundred kills. Uh, you know, that literally could be the mean that they're right there at one hundred kills with that weapon, or they could be at five thousand kills with that weapon. So that's just kind of, uh, it's an interesting thing. So, so looking at it, You'll you'll see. Uh, let's go to the sum, and then it, 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 they're also all broken down by uh, the system. So PC is going to be listed first. They've also got PlayStation 3, uh, Xbox 360. Eventually, the guy is going to update the thread with the stats for the uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And so, looking at the PC section first, the AR, you'll see that M416 uh, is responsible for 31.4 million. Let's round it. 31.5 million. Uh, deaths so far on that, and again, that is just for the PC platform, which accounts for 22%. Uh, the Ace 23 only has accounted for 27.7 million deaths. All right, so in looking at that, more people are getting kills with the M416. But then when you scroll on down to the count section, you'll notice that the AK 12 has 96, uh, yeah, 96,596 people have got a hundred or more kills with it. So that's actually more than the M416. And actually the Ace-23 isn't even really that close to... Uh, it's The SCAR <laughs> is above that. The AEK is above that. And then you see the Ace-23. So it's, it's interesting to see how many kills there are total with the AEK, but how few compared to the other, uh, some of the other weapons. Uh, the Ace, you know, it, it, it kind of goes to show there's fewer people using the Ace, but those people using the Ace are just getting a crazy amount of kills to put it up at the second highest uh, kill counting AR. Um, so that kind of gives it, you know, some, some credit to where it's kind of considered the best weapon for skillful players uh, because of the way that its recoil is done. Um, makes it kind of a more skill-oriented weapon than, than the M416. The M416 is probably one of the most balanced weapons, and obviously the AK-12 is the starting weapon. That's why it's the highest on there for the count. Uh, all of the starting weapons are the top option, I believe, for every uh, category for the count. So, yeah. 
So uh, that's what they're uh, that's talking about with that whole count thing versus the sum. And then they have the totals. And the, again, you know, it's PC listed first, so you can look at it and see that PC totals, it just breaks down all ARs, all carbines, all LMGs. So it's, it's just kind of interesting. Uh, I fear that LMGs would be a lot lower uh, than they were. A lot of people are actually doing pretty solid with the LMGs. If you're looking at PC totals, LMG is account uh, for 38.4 uh, million deaths. So that's pretty intense you know for comparison's sake ARs 143 million so it's you know significantly uh, a little over four times as many um, deaths uh, by ARs now granted most people running assault are probably running assault rifles most people not most but a lot of people running engineer uh, recon and support are going to be using carbines. So that's why carbines is going to come up in the second group. Uh, and it's uh, 80 million, 80.5 million. So uh, pretty pretty common there. And ARs, you know, yeah, they're probably the best. But carbines can definitely hold their own. They've got some solid hip fire compared to the ARs and some good uh, rates of fire, things like that. they they got some good things going for them. So some pretty interesting things to see there. Uh, what I kind of expected, PDWs, are kind of taking up the rear for the for all of the uh, class specific weapons um, you know bolt action being specific to recon LMGs being specific to support and AR being support uh, specific to assault Ugh, a lot of tongue twisting going on and so yeah PDWs because they're just they need a buff uh, most engineers run carbines or pro possibly shotguns and DMRs uh, very few people are running shotties and DMRs but I really thought that bolt-action sniper rifles would be below PDWs, uh, but that is not the case. In fact, there's more than twice as many uh, bolt-action kills than there are PDW. So there's even more pistol kills, uh, which is kind of sad. Uh, yeah, PDWs really, really do need a buff. I'm hoping that DICE is looking at this, these stats and realize that PDWs might need just a smidge of, of something going for them. Maybe an increase in reload times or something since PDW. I don't know. I really miss the fact that PDWs are all kit weapons. Uh, that definitely has hurt them. So, guys, check this out. Uh, and if you want, you know, look at some of the aspects. Uh, talk that, that compare. Look at some of the comparisons. I should say between the uh, the actual uh, platforms. Uh, look at how many of you know. ARs are being uh, accounting for kills on PC. It's it's kind of scary how many more uh, AR on on PC accounts for a total of 143 million. Going down to uh, PlayStation 3 totals, only 26 million. 26.3 versus 143 million. That is an insane difference. Uh, and then looking at the uh, 360. Uh, you go on down to the totals for AR, it accounts for 20, well, let's round it at 21 million. So PS3's got a little bit more, 6 million more than the 360. Uh, that actually surprised me since Battlefield is probably more popular in the U.S. than it is uh, Europe. And in the U.S., typically the Xbox is going to be the uh, more popular one. Sadly, I'm a PlayStation fan. But, um, yeah, I, I just find that very interesting that... Obviously, part of that is the fact that PC has higher uh, player counts, but, you know, just because there are higher player counts, that doesn't mean you're going to always have more kills, because they're also competing against more people on your team that are going to be taking from the kill pool. So that shouldn't really have that much more an influence. I think it's mostly just Battlefield is a PC kind of... Uh, it's a PC kind of t series. It started on PC... Uh, it's okay. most well known for being PC because of the player count. A lot of people get it on there because it has the larger maps, uh, dedicated servers, things like that. But I think also another part of it is just aiming. Uh, I, I feel like people just get more kills on PC than console because uh, mouse and keyboard, well, just mouse uh, accuracy allows people to just kill people more often in the game uh, at longer ranges. Uh, you don't, uh, I feel like it's a lot harder to be more accurate with the analog sticks when you're shooting at a long distance. So that's just kind of my thoughts. Uh, very interesting. It will be very interesting to see how the 
uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4, uh, which are currently the guy has uh, reserved slots for that. So it'll be interesting to see how those uh, turn out. But yeah, check this uh, these uh, these stats out. See you know where your favorite weapons uh, hold up against some of the other things, and maybe you'll see that hey, this weapon's being used a heck of a lot. I really don't use it that often. Maybe I should check it out. Uh, my second, I believe, my second most used weapon is the FAMAS, and that's uh, third from the bottom. Uh, fourth, if you include the F2000, which we don't have access to yet uh, on PC, and that's my, I love that gun, it's a great gun, but I, I realize why it is so low, it's fairly up in the chain of unlocking, but it's a very complicated, difficult weapon to use, so uh, yeah, check this stuff out guys, pretty interesting, Simthic has done a great job with their presentations of all their information, their little pie graph thing there, um, and that definitely shows here as well. They've done a great job of organizing this and making it pretty easy to read and understand. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay going on there in the background, and I'm hoping all the crap that I just said made sense. There's a lot of math, and that obviously is difficult to convey in speech uh, when you don't have it visually in front of you. So hopefully you were kind of, you know, clicked on the link and followed along with me as we were going through. I'll add a little thing in the video to make sure that's done. Should have mentioned that early on, I guess, but kind of did. I don't know. I'm just randomly talking. I can just keep going on and on. So, <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed it all. Have a good one. Ta-ta.